Hello everyone, my name is Martin and today I'm going to show you something really fantastic. So I'm super excited about this because today I'm going to show you really great technique to retouch your images. Probably technique you have heard about... Um, uh, sorry, probably technique you have heard a few times in your life. Maybe you even seen this technique. Maybe you try to do this technique if you already are familiarized with this technique. Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial and today I'm really super excited because I'm going to show you really great retouching technique, probably technique you heard about, you have heard um, in the past and this technique is actually called frequency separation technique. It's very popular and probably it's one of the best techniques to retouch your images in really non-destructive way because Probably some of you during retouching was using uh, blur on some other tools, but as you know, the final result was always a bit fakey, a bit plastic. It's not something you really want to. So today I'm going to show you technique. I'm going to show you frequency separation technique, how to do really great skin retouch on your portrait and keep the same texture as before, keep the real texture of the image. So let's start from the beginning. At first I'm going to duplicate this background layer twice. So duplicate at first once and I'm going to call this low. And then I'm going to duplicate this once again. Duplicate layer and I'm going to call this high as I have two layers so much easier so let's start with the low layer why I'm why I duplicate this twice so this low layer will be layer with my colors of the image with all colors I have on the image skin colors etc and the high layer is the layer with my skin texture with the structure of the skin so I'm going to start with low layer and at first we have to add some Gaussian blur. Let's zoom this a little bit because I can see maybe it's not clear. As you can see it's horrible image and actually I think it's really good image to present you this um, technique. So as I said, click filter, blur and choose Gaussian blur. This kind of radius is of course too strong. So what we're going to do, we have to set the radius not too strong, just just maybe around six, eight pixels. It actually depends on your image, but you have to set the radius as you can see. We have to make this picture actually blurry, but we still have to have some large details like the large places on the image it has to be visible like the eyes as you can see we make it blurry so we lost all of the specific details from the skin but we still have the large points it's everything visible like eyes nose etc it can be even a bit stronger you can drag it up even to 12 12 pixels 8 pixels i'm not really a huge fan of this i want to keep this as much natural as possible so I'm going to add let's say 6.8 at the moment okay and now the all fun begin we go in into high layer I call this wrong at first not high just high and now we're going to do the right thing go to image apply image and I'm not really sure about what's going on over here and truth to be told no one actually knows but that's the right thing what to do so the layer we're going to choose now we're going to choose layer low the layer we get in uh, from our colors about blending we have two options we have to choose subtract if you have 8-bit image 
I know if we're using um 16 bit image the settings are a little bit different but I tell at the end about this and about this scale and offset again no one knows what about this but the off offset has to be at 128 it just has to be like this and scale has to be at 2. Some of you set different settings when they have 16-bit image they set scale at 2 the same offset is 0 and instead of subtract they add they choose add and then invert layer however this 8-bit image the most popular so that's the right settings for it once again I choose layer low with the colors blending subtract scale 2 and offset 128 press OK and now what I'm going to do I'm going to change blending mode from normal into linear light and what happened right now I'm going to show you after I put this into the group Control or command and G I'm going to call this group FS as frequency separation as, and as you can see nothing changed from our original image because actually these two layers is the the same things what we have in our original layers in low layers as I make it blurry it's actually our colors from the image and in high is our texture our structure of the image so these two layers make our basic image the our original image so that's how it looks like and right now is the right part so our frequency separation retouch so that technique I'm going to use I found from great teacher from Flern and most of the people is using this they're using uh, Aaron from Flern is using Lasso of course you can choose any of the uh, selection tool I'm using lasso tool because it's just the easiest the most comfortable is to work with lasso tool you have to set feather pretty much soft um, this picture has not such a huge size so I think 30 few pixels is totally okay if it's really huge picture it's better to use a bit um, it's better to put a bit more feather bit more pixels you can check this by selecting pretty much huge area and just press Q on your keyboard and you can see if the area you selected is has soft edges enough maybe even a little bit more I can add even a bit more but I think it will be all right for now so the things we're going to do deselect from now for now I'm going to zoom this image because it will be much easier to work on this and as you can see we have so many of this ugly spot on the image so how to remove them as we did all of these steps we just have to select really big area with all these ugly colors on the image there you go now I'm going to choose filter blur Gaussian blur and just make it blur as much as the skin is getting to look really nice as you can see more than 30 pixels even maybe could be less but as you put radius around 30 pixels maybe a little bit more the skin is getting really great we have soft clean skin but as you can see texture of the skin is actually great it's actually the same texture of the skin we're not losing structure of the skin because our texture our structure of the skin is on this layer on layer I call high so we have to do the same thing a few times all over our face it will take a while it's very quick method and actually you can save lot of time if you are a photographer if you have your own studio you can save a really lot of time because um, you can choose this instead of um, instead of choosing working with 
clone stamp tool all the time, etc. So Gaussian blur, I can press Ctrl F to repeat. Of course, you can set Gaussian blur on your own every time to do this right. But I can repeat Ctrl or Command and then F. And it's, as you can see, it's working really great. So I'm going to do this all over the face to make it look beautiful. Again, Ctrl F. Here, maybe once again, Ctrl F. I did this wrong. It's just unbelievable how great this tool is. Ctrl F once again, or Command. It's just unbelievable what's happening with the face. Let's go to the forehead. I'm going to do this very quickly, as quick as possible. I will be a bit careful for the hair because I don't want to lose them really. Don't look natural. I will see what happened. If I do this with her. It still looks natural, so it's okay. Maybe not here. Here I have some angry spots. So here you go, as you can see, super easy, quick method, can work here a little bit. Let's cover everything, just the last few steps. So take a look at the result, take a look on the face. This face looks really natural, we still have the same structure, we still have original structure of the image, which is on this layer, this high layer, but as you can see we remove all the weird colors from the face, because all of the colors are on the low layer and we actually make it blurry and add some really pretty colors so this face is very clean right now but still looks very natural and that's probably the best the fastest method to do the quick portrait retouch it's really a great tool so take a look how this image looked before that's how it looked before and right now after this quick retouch our face looked just pretty it was horrible image after this it's great result so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial because for me it's the best tool to do this quick portrait retouch i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching and see you soon in the next photoshop tutorial thank you